Bikini. It is here that the military and scientific personnel of Joint Task Force One will conduct the tests with the atomic bomb. Only by unleashing the destructive force of atomic energy against an array of ships could the Navy determine the future ship design of modern naval sea power. The target orientation for test able was based on the directive of the Joint Chiefs of Staff. It required that the 90 ships anchored in Bikini Lagoon be so disposed as to secure graded ship damage ranging from maximum to minimum. The battleship USS Nevada, bomb aiming point, has been anchored at the exact center of the target array. Here to witness the completion of preparations is the President's Evaluation Commission. They will report the tests to the Commander-in-Chief. Lashed to the decks of ships are samples of military supplies and equipment. Airplanes, jeeps, trucks and tanks, themselves targets on target ships. Animals were placed aboard some of the ships to substitute for military personnel. A study of their future life history will provide invaluable information. Steel towers 75 feet high have been erected on Bikini Atoll. Within these structures will be housed the remotely controlled cameras and specially designed scientific instruments that will record the data resulting from the blast. Many types of special motion picture and still cameras were encased in huge lead vaults. These unusual enclosures, built of reinforced concrete to withstand the primary blast action, were lined with thick sheets of lead to protect film from the effects of radioactivity, which would otherwise fog the sensitive material. And to further protect film from the effects of radiation, sliding lead panels built over the camera ports and designed to close automatically will seal the vaults, making radioactive penetration impossible. The immense task of transferring personnel and the vast quantities of supplies, instruments, and special equipment from Kwajalein to Bikini was relieved by PBMs of the Naval Air Transport Service. Secretary of the Navy, James Forrestal, comes aboard the USS Mount McKinley and is greeted by Vice Admiral Blandy, commander of Task Force One. The Navy Secretary will be among observers witnessing the experiments. Preparations are now complete and crews abandon their ships. Shown here is Captain Low H. Bibby, commanding officer of the venerable old battleship USS New York. Everything is in readiness for the test able experiment, and military and scientific personnel leave the target area. On Able Day minus one, Command ships proceed to an area approximately 14 miles from the lagoon where the blast can be safely observed. Dawn on Kwajalein, July 1st, 1946. This was Able Day. Army Air Force camera, observation, and weather and instrument planes prepare to take off. The B-29 and C-54 photographic planes bristle with cameras of every type of description. With almost 500 cameras trained on the blast, the test will be photographed from every possible angle. Poised on the loading ramp is the B-29, Dave's Dream, bomb-carrying aircraft. Army engineers of the Manhattan Engineer District have assembled and loaded into the huge plane the bomb that will be dropped on the target fleet anchored in Bikini Lagoon. With her escort of photographic and weather and instrument planes, Dave's dream proceeds to the Bikini target.
On E.B. Island, Navy camera planes, huge PBM flying boats are loaded with still and motion picture cameras. Accompanied by Air Force photo planes, these ships will circle the target photographing the atomic explosion. At Ina We Talk, Army Air Force drones are preparing to take off. These pilotless planes will be guided through the center of the cloud column to record scientific data as well as to provide valuable information concerning the effects of the blast upon military aircraft. USS Shangri-La at sea, Navy F-6F mother control planes are catapulted from the carrier's flight deck. When the monitoring planes are properly located over the ship, the drone aircraft are launched and temporarily guided from the carrier until control is picked up by the planes in the air. Everything is in readiness now, and history is in the making. Observers at sea impatiently await the blast. Zero hour rapidly approaches, and cameras start to grind. Just before the explosion, blast gauges are parachuted into the target area from weather and instrument planes. Bomber is over the target, the bomb is away, and one second to go. In the following view, the blast will be seen as it was photographed in slow motion. Thank <laughs> you. 